Hey everybody and welcome back once again. So I managed to find a horse. Uh pretty decent one I think. And I'm in Blackwater just heading down to go and see what's his name? The the, the accountant guy working at the bank. Hey! Slow the hell down! Shut up, buddy! The landowning classes. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. I see, so I'm buying land. And not only am I buying it, I'm also having to clear out the area. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a great... Uh, business deal to me. It does seem like I'm doing a lot of the work, but sure, fine. Do I just go and see Sadie now? No, I go and see... Oh, okay, no, it's a different mission, I see. Okay. Well, let's ride. And I'm there, cool. Come on, let's go. You're dead. Oh, don't shoot another horse. Just for that, he's getting the shotgun. I survived. Goddamn redneck. There you go. Uh -huh. 
Oh, please don't tell me the horse died. Wait, what? <laughs> the horse died, and the other one came along, but it looked exactly this. What? Did I see that right? Alright, fine, whatever. That's the second horse in, like, the span of half hour that I've lost. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. you the man with two names and no past come on in how'd you make out well let's just say there are no more squatters okay well i got your paperwork ready now you sure about buying this place it's really run down and the price isn't too great i think it would mean a lot for my wife at least mean i was listening to her okay well sign here and here Mm-hmm. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking, they own me, they just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> hey, follow me. Yeah, he, he does care somewhat, Trunkle, I think. Uh, you don't actually like, tend to see that too much. Every now and then. West. West. Oh, God, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... <laughs> a ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh. I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it Oop. to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Yeah, that sounds like something John would do, actually. Bury him somewhere. <laughs> This is 
it. Look at her. That's quite something, all right. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. I do like the epilogue for this, the sort of progression, and uh, there's like a little bit here where you get like Uncle and you get some other characters, and yeah, it's really nice. Okay, go and see Uncle. I'm curious to see if I can shave Hello, boy. Me at here. all. I think I can shave. I think there's like a little camp area. Nope, never mind. I take it all back. There is actually nothing here at the moment. Oh well, let's go and see Uncle. Working hard? <coughs> it's the lumbago. I have I overdo it. I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Hey, let's go see Charles. And the good thing is, that's a little, like, you know, you get a little scene, you know, a little montage of the travel, so I don't have to do any of it. Because that is one hell of a trek from Beecher's Hope to Saint Denis. Right. Here we are. Come on, let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in Saint Denis. I never liked this place. Oh yeah, well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slum. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons, and you take the slums? No, 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 no. Okay, run away before he starts either shooting at me or the police gun. I can't believe I've only got $20. Where the hell's Sadie with my money? <laughs> Saloon's probably the best place to go. I would have, well, yeah, I'd have thought. For bare knuckle boxing. <laughs> 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 
Fuck me, this place is dead. Oh no, wait, there's two guys. That's Morning, fine. Sir. Hey, partner. You seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure. I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Hey, boy. Howdy. Oh, God. Hey. Uh, ah, cool. Yeah, I just need to take the turning right. What you waiting for? So I'm not that far away from the place. Oh, God. Hey, right, cool. was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries. You are a <laughs> we both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Uh. Yeah, okay. I'll bet on Charles. Sir, sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left. A ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales! <laughs> and on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage. Which the part of Wales? I know he said the valleys, the but. Which part? Lone wolf! You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. You know, as a, as a, I am a Welshman, you know, and uh, it pains me to cheer against my own countrymen, but fuck it. Knock his teeth out. I have got money on this game. Come on. Come on, Lone Wolf. Better get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. It's your shit, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. 
I booked a steamer heading upriver. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside San Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Hey, oh, what? Oh, I've only got 40. Fair enough. Uh, my bag's on the dock. I doubled my money. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. It was where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal? He always drew in. I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Watch out. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. Mm -hmm. ah, you couldn't have thrown that fight! It's never just one fight! Ah! Evidently! Where are those guns that... What are those guns? Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Alright, you do that, I'll get the wagon. What are you doing? Ah, oh, god damn it, John. The wagon with the horse, you fool. Okay. Where was Uncle? You gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. San Ani ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want okay. that either. We've, we've knocked one anything? guy down, or like hit him, and then we've run over the other one. So we've killed another there. two people just leaving if town. I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate San Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple... John Charles! <laughs> You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. 
and I'm getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> And there we go, another successful visit to Saint-Denis. Okay, cool. A little campsite being set up. I'm sure there's somewhere I can shave. Hmm. Oh, you can change clothing. I'll do that. What have I... What have I got to work with? Eh, uh, beep 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 beep, hats. pants. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I don't want to fast travel. I want to shave. <laughs> Is there nothing here to help me shave? I guess not. No, well, let's go and see what Uncle wants. Ah, feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> it's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady'd set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. It's coming down. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? 
There's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Let's go, boy. All right, well, that was it. That was easy. Uh, um, Sadie said she was in Blackwater. And you know what else is in... Uh, hang on. Yep, there we go, Barber. Cool. As I say, you know what else is in Blackwater? But then I couldn't see one. I was like, uh, no, never mind. Yeah, yeah, let's go to the Barber, get a shave. Make him look a bit more like John Marston. Which, oddly enough, is not a great thing, because he's a wanted man, but screw it. The beard, the whole, the full beard thing has been annoying uh, for me. Just makes him look like a hermit. for the horse. Alright, fair enough. I got forty dollars to my name. Forty dollars. Howdy, partner. <laughs> Open your eyes. Welcome. Please take a seat. Uh, well, ba -ba -ba. Trim. Not well. oh, I didn't want that. But fuck it. Fine. That looks a bit weird. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that looks more like John to me. Can't quite remember how his hair looked in the first game. You usually get the to keep the hat on, don't you? Okay, and let's go and see Sadie Adler. Out of the way! Hello there, sir. Is this your yeah, first hope make it home. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John! <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine. James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. 
Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north, so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it? We're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Uh, which, uh, that's my horse over here. There, boy. Ah, I missed my shire hey, horse. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Howdy, friend. Yeah. Hello. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble? Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But... I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for him. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday? I hope we'll find him, but uh, not now. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, well, one day we'll find Micah, I'm sure. Outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. 
I'm forever the optimist. Okay, I better get my gun ready. Okay, so we're in actually, I think we're on the area of the first game. So I think that's Armadillo over there. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. I think. Okay, let me get rid of that. Bloody hell, I don't want a Springfield rifle. I hate Springfield rifles. Well, I hate them in this game. Be quicker if we both look. You got binoculars, don't you? Yep. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow them. Good boy. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. They're okay. Time to uh, ambush these guys. So it just seems like bumpy hunting is sort of like a legal. It's like they'll be coming through here. The option you go to if you want a gang and you want to be legal about it. Just have bumpy hunters killing each other. Why not just shoot him dead? Yeah, this is from the first game. Uh, well, looks a lot better now. But I recognize this area. Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. Alright, lead the way. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. Right How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but, uh, it's your call. Let's just start shooting. Maybe they'll all run off. Yeah, they'll scatter right away. I'm going over here. Okay. No, oh, uh, this is gonna be good. Right. Wait, why am I shooting horse?
Yeah, how, how do you pay all these guys, I wonder? How big must a bumpy be to pay all these men? Yep, have some food, John. Oh my god. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm s I thought... Ugh. Okay, whatever. Oh no. No! Oh my god. What's r I. Mmm. Damn it. Yeah, I'm kind of used to playing as Arthur in a gunfight like this. Where I got like a bunch of food on me. But John doesn't have that much food on him. Ah! Uh, wait. Huh? Why did I. Did my. What? Huh? Why did my outfit change? Make up your mind, John. That's bizarre. Uh. Threaten them. I reckon you threaten them and I'll cover you. Okay. Get over there and cover me. Yeah, why did my. Hey! Oh, hey! weird. James Langton, you robbed me! That bastard is mine! Give him back to me or I'll murder every last one of you! I'm gonna give you ten seconds to walk away! Ten, nine, eight, seven... Well, that went well. We gotta deal with those! I uh, don't see anyone. Look to the right. Come here. We got men coming at us.
gonna try and refill my dead eye call. Oh, this is much better. Yeah, it's the dead eye call. Uh, that's why I was having such a difficult time. Langton. Come on, it's time to collect. Okay, you're taking film. Let's uh, go. Get him on your horse. Uh, what's he got on him? I'm not above robbing a man. Are you with her? What's it look like? Where's she going? Oh! Ah, Sadie dead. Ah, this isn't going well. Please tell you don't start at the top of that bloody thing. No, thank God. Ay, 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 right in the face. Nope, that's why not. Ah, come back, come back, come Rad. That's rad. I'm keeping an eye now on the counter because I've only got like five minutes before the recording saves. So they can only work in like 60 minutes, so sort of time spans. I got about five minutes roughly. in your cell. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you! John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her! Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How do we 
Work ain't easy, Joan. Ports. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there? You didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. <laughs> Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, Joan. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Oh, he's making a racket, doesn't he? I hate you. That's your cell at the end there. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. All right, well, I'm going to call it quits here because I'm running pretty close to the clock. I uh, hope you've all enjoyed. Hope you've all enjoyed the commentary. If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that would be brilliant. And I'll see you next time. For now, though, take care and look after yourself. See you then.